All right, guys, JoJo on the radio in the studio. Just met this girl, Chelsea Cutler. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm awesome. We're gonna. I promise we're going to talk about album, you know, single, all that stuff. But we got to talking off air about, you know, I'm, you know, I'm in L.A., you're, you, you live in New York, and I bring up that I hate, you know, I, I love the cold. I would like to experience more cold because L.A., we're generally pretty hot year-round, uh, except for cold toilet seats. Yeah. <laughs> what is the whole thing? The 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 story. You you were hanging out in somebody's house, and what's the thing there? Yeah, I got an Airbnb in the Hamptons this past summer, and I kind of sent it, and it was like a really bougie house, and it had heated toilet seats, but I didn't know that, <laughs> and I sat down to pee like for the first time. And I was so grossed out because the heated toilet seat makes it feel like someone else Somebody. was there f- before you for like a long time. Oh, God. So you're like, oh, geez. But, you know, that happened to me the other day at the radio station, you know, because TMI. But you sit down and you're like, oh, my God. I, and I knew who had been sitting there before me. So I'm thinking it was That's a, even worse. It's even worse, right? Actually, uh, is it worse to know or is it worse to not I know? I don't know. I mean, I like the person that was sitting there before me. It was a, you know, a buddy. But I'm like, I don't know if I need to. A buddy. I, yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Funny. Here we go. All right. A buddy. <laughs> Yay. All right. Chelsea Cutler is here. Uh, Chelsea, Ooh. let's let's talk about this, the album. You know, give me details for people who are just now getting introduced to you and your, you know, uh, your heated toilet seat issue and all that. Oh, yes. Uh, what, what is, uh, talk about this album. What people need to know for sure i think uh well it's obviously my debut album so it's it's a first real intimate look i think at me as an artist and i think it's a really eclectic collection of music there's some indie leaning stuff some acoustic leaning stuff some pop leaning stuff so i kind of think it shows a lot of versatility as an artist and it definitely shows a lot of authenticity and insight into who i am on some of these tracks uh, obviously you say revealing uh, do you ever after you put something out, something that's so revealing? Do you ever think like, uh, oh my God, did I did I did I put out too much? Did I unveil, pull back the curtain a little bit much? It's a really great question. I definitely sometimes get cold feet. Um, unfortunately, the cold feet typically come after the album um, or project is submitted and mastered and <laughs> and <Oops. laughs> already sent out to DSPs. So there's not much I can do about it, but. Um, but no, I think honesty is a really great thing when you're writing, and I think I think the the best way for your music to resonate with people is to be as honest as, as you possibly can, even if it's scary. And you know, you're giving a voice to a lot of people, and you're giving visibility to a lot of people. So I think it's you know it's important to be brave for that. Sad tonight. Talk about this track. You know what what do I need to know? For sure. Um, kind of wrote the song as as like an anti pop pop song because. Right. I felt like there's so many songs about breakups and getting over someone and trying to get distracted. So you go out to bars, you go out to parties, you go out with your friends, try to distract yourself. And um, and it was just important to me to write a song about staying in and indulging in that sadness and letting yourself be sad. And um, I don't know, there's, there's something to be said for that. You know, it's important to be able to process what you're feeling to get through it. So. All right, let me ask a couple of questions. Don't uh, no names required. No names I, I always, required. Yeah, no names required. Don't it's none of my business. But was this song written about a specific person or incident or, you know? I think it was inspired by true events. Okay. For sure. Follow up to that. Once again, no names. Uh-huh. Does this person or people or whoever, do they know it was loosely or about them? Yeah. What was the reaction? Uh, <laughs> Did they like, oh, my God, I love it. Or, oh, my God. I they can't. love the song. They think the song's great. They're really proud of me. Hey, uh, performing at Coachella. Yeah. Are you Are you pumped on this? So stoked. It, honestly, it's really surreal. It's hard to process something like that when it, it's such a big goal of yours. Um, it's funny. I, I When I was, like, sitting in therapy with my therapist, I love to talk about therapy. I think it's, like, the greatest thing right. on earth. Um, my therapist was like, I don't understand why you're not giving me anything with it. Like, why Like why are you just sitting here telling me that you're playing Coachella? You know? She's like, why, why, like what, where's your reaction? And I was like... <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm so confused. Like, I don't know how to feel. Like, it's so surreal to me. I can't really believe that it's happening. I'm not sure that I'll even be able to process it until I'm there on stage and it's happening. Have you been to Coachella as a, as a fan? No, I haven't. Oh, my God. This, I've, I've talked to so many artists that it's, uh, it's, it's career changing and life changing. You know, depending on the moment, in a lot of ways. Yep. And co- there's so much. You know, you've heard about Coachella for years, and you're going to be on this stage. That's pretty wild, man. Thank you. The tour. Talk about tour. You like? Do you, I know you've been on the road for a little bit. Uh, kind of hit spot dates and whatnot. Is this? Are you on a tour or just doing a bunch of dates around the country right now? Right now, just just doing dates around the country. Um, we leave for tour on uh, February 11th, I think. Do you like life on the road? I do. 
definitely I think I'm really fortunate my crew is you know it's like my best friends their family and uh I love performing it's it's like one of the best parts of this job it's a real pleasure to meet you thank you very much for hanging out thank you so much I appreciate it you gotta drop by more often I'm here whenever you want done at the end of every interview fist bump to make it official give me a little Amazing. bye thank you